Okay, we're back out here on this little farm all once again. Uh, we've we've determined we're just going to go ahead and we're going to freshen up this motor. We're going to go ahead and put new rings in it. We're going to put new valves in it. I don't have the valves yet. Uh, so we're going to see what we can get done today and uh, probably be a little while before we get the rings in, or the valves in, but we'll get those in and uh, we'll get those replaced. Hopefully we can, you know, we'll go ahead and bought a compression tester. We're going to go ahead and test it before we do all that and see what, what we're getting because I'm just curious. Oh, this is Amazon, uh, $13, $13.99, whatever. Um, so, we'll see. Not sure. Get the right adapter here. I already got one pulled out, and I know it's, it's going to be the one sticky spring. Hopefully, this is the right. Yeah, that's the right. The adapter put in there. Just going to finger tight it down. Put this into the adapter. Alright, it's kind of an no O-ring, so it shouldn't be too bad. And, uh, I'm just going to turn it. I bought a, finally broke down and bought a hand crank. It's like 60 bucks. And, of course, it wouldn't fit in there. The, the little piece on the end was a little too long. I had to take the grinder and just shave it off on both sides. Fits in there perfect. Turns it over. Get y'all over here so y'all can watch that. All right. Nothing. Nothing at all. It's really what I expected there. So. All right, let's move to the next one. All right, let's check number two. Here we go. Wow, nothing on number two either. Wow. We had just a little bit. I mean, uh, less than 20, probably 18 or so. I don't know how much compression these things have. All right, here goes number three. Let's see. Might be 15. Wow. Very low. All right, let's check number four. I got nothing on it. It moved. But, yeah, these things. This thing ain't got, got any compression. Yeah, 
and I didn't didn't even move the needle, but you hear it like a let off a little pressure here. I mean, you can hear it. Just a just a quiet little. All right. Oh, uh, we're doing that test. It reassures that definitely need to uh, redo these valves and these rings and everything. Because it has no, there's no way this thing would have started with that kind of compression. I don't know what they're supposed to have. But about guarantee, it's got to be more than, uh, you know, 10, uh, 18 was the best I had. Yes, yeah, got to be better than that. So, we'll uh, get this head back off of it, and we'll start tearing it down and getting ready to redo that. So, farther than I wanted it to go on this, but... Um, I got three of these. I planned on doing one of them that way, but this one I just wanted to get it up and running. But in reality, this is probably the one that'll get used the most. Um, it has the pea planter on it, uh, plant peas, plant corn, uh, and that's main things we we're going to be planting. So once we do get all this done we'll go back and we'll put our tester on it see what we're getting uh but it's not even worth marking down what we had i'm gonna say we had nothing because that's pretty much what we had uh anyway we'll uh we'll come back and uh i've already pulled this head off a couple times i don't think I need to show that again uh we're going to get this exhaust pulled off. If there's anything there, I may show y'all, but I don't really think there's anything there to show. So uh, I've sprayed it down a couple times with uh, PB Blaster, and uh, I hope hope it comes loose. Uh, hopefully we get those nuts off and not break any uh, studs. But anyway, we'll get that off, and we'll see. All right, let's get this first one. See what if we get any comes off any. Oh, wow! That one broke loose. Let's try this one. Ah. These I don't know. I think when I saw you're going to have to use a. Uh, ranch on those. I just can't quite get my hand in there. Tap, tap. All right, let's go ahead and shank this carburetor off here so we're not, it's not in the way. Alrighty, that uh, nut is brass. Not sure if that bolt is or not, but that could explain why it was easy to take off. Was it loose? All right, let's take that sucker rest way off.
Thing turning it off. You could get up in there. You can't. I need that. I'm trying to use a 14 metric on a 916, so I don't have any matching standard wrenches. Son's uh, toolbox sitting right over there. I know he does. He's switching jobs right now, so his mechanics tools are here. But I just about bet that cabinet's locked. I'm about to find out though. He is locked, and uh, he's not home right now. He just moved back, so I'm hoping he'll be out here to help me on things, on a few things. Uh, quarter turn at a time. Get this sucker off. <laughs> well, the thing about kinks of this here. This is what they used. I mean, they didn't have all the power tools. It really makes sense that they don't have, it, this wasn't accessible. Uh, I mean, nice to have a ratchet. They would have had ratchets back then. They might have had, you know, shops would have had air tools. That here, uh, your general farmer, he didn't, he probably didn't, you know, this thing is older than my dad, so that's pretty damn old. Don't tell him I said that. Yeah, make sure he wasn't here. One more turn out of 10,000, and I think it'll be off. Well, one more turn. One more. Come on. There, we're off. All right. We're off. There we go. Oh, we're in here. We're gonna clean all this stuff up too. I believe I've got new gaskets for this. One of them. The other one's stuck on here. Going off just fine. That we'll dig through that stuff that gaskets I got for the head came with gaskets here, cork gasket for here, uh, gasket for the water neck, and uh, and these. So we'll dig through that, pull all that out. 
Is this? Alrighty. We'll get in here and then we'll take off the head and uh, we're getting close. Somebody said, get, to, get this valve out back here. Got to take off the these hydraulic lines, which I guess won't be bad, but I'd, I'd like to not to. But uh, yeah, I kind of see what he's talking about. Might not be able to get them off. I might be in a little bit of way, but I think we can work around it. All right. Well, let's get that head off. All right, hold on. Okay, see that valve's up. It shouldn't be because that uh, exhaust is up. Same time, just a little touch and it goes back down. It sticks up again. Just a little touch. Now, earlier. I had to hammer that thing valve down. And uh, the way these are, and decided we're just going to replace the valves, uh, which includes the valve guides, springs, uh, and everything. Like, and then we'll reset them. You can see these cylinders are nasty, dirty. Uh, we're going to pull them. We're going to polish them up, put new rings in. Um, these, it's really hard to see in there, but maybe you can see You can see a little bit of a cross hatch there. Maybe we're gonna we're gonna home those because there's pretty much not any cross hatch left in them. Uh, we're gonna reseat seat these valves. Uh, we're gonna. Just clean it all up. So, new valves, uh, new uh, rings. Uh, this will be a fresh motor. Whew, man, so much. That is some goop. Somebody put in there. Good Lord, I hope that's not a sign of something wrong. I just pulled from there. Uh, Lord, I hope that's not. I hope that wasn't uh, sealing a. Son of a bitch. There's a cracker there. Sure enough. Now where those threads go in. Alright. Well, 
son of a gun. Right in that threads there. I'll have to clean that up. And uh, we may have to put some fresh JB Weld in there. Uh, that is where water is. I don't want a water leak, especially back there. Okay. Well, it doesn't feed over into the doesn't lead over into the cylinder heads or anything. So, I think we'll be all right. Check all these cylinders, make sure they all look good. They all look pretty good. You really hoping that's just uh just crack looks like somebody over torqued it cracked it. We'll uh we'll just JB weld that. That's not what I want to do, but that's what we're going to do. Cause there ain't no way I'm going to try to weld that uh, cast. Uh, it's not something for me to do. All right. Anyway, we'll get that taken care of. Yeah, I thought about just pulling these out, cleaning them up, clean, pulling the guys out, cleaning them up, but uh, um, I've been get, given the go-ahead to go ahead and replace them. It's my dad's tractor. Uh, he's... He's taking care of most of the bill. There's a few things I've bought myself. Oh, wow. There's, I gotta bring y'all around here. Weld it's all the way across, probably five inches long. And it's been welded. Wow. So, anyway, I'm not going to do any harm putting JP Weld. Um, yep, yeah, I don't feel bad about it. Not doing what I do to this engine. It's had some farmer work done. Uh, guarantee that was a stick welder back in the day. That's probably been there for a long time. All right. So we're going to keep moving forward. We're gonna it's going not going to be a, it's not high performance it's it's a farm all 1950 farm all tractor so um we're not worried about high performance we're just going to make it work even if i gotta add water to it constantly we'll add water to it as long as it's not getting into the cylinder or to the intake or exhaust so uh we'll call it good all right here we go Okay, well, we're back out here. 
we're going to start pulling these valves out, get them all pulled out, and we'll move on to uh, getting the pistons pulled out and uh, get all everything disassembled so we can then start going back together. All right, I've already pulled this valve out, the one that was a problem child, and uh, it was a struggle to get it to come out it it was seized in there pretty bad so anyway people gave me hell on uh facebook for uh smacking that thing with a hammer i just put a just a picture of it and uh i got some real hate but uh but yeah you know we're where we are now having to replace it i mean it was either Smack it with a hammer, get it moving, maybe get it free and be able to run it then. Or if we couldn't get it free, then we replace it. Uh, new uh, valve uh, set. Uh, uh, all, all the valves, exhaust and the intake. Uh, with the springs, the keepers, the uh, guides, um, all that. Uh, it was 140 plus shipping plus, uh, you know, all shipping and handling. Um, so just about was 140. And then, you know, the, I think $20 in shipping, whatever. So, anyway, not too bad. So she did get a nice fresh engine. So, we'll, uh, we'll get to it and see how this goes. All right. Now stay with me. Here we go. You get this thing clamped down on this. Goodness. I got it. And then we get them out. One keeper. And there's the other keeper.
All right, that one pulled right out of there. That other one I had to, man, it took some work. Right. You know, I, I didn't want to show. I mean, I would get some real hate for what I had to do on that one. But it came out. Right, all kinds of people tell me. That's not how you do it. Well, no shit. Pretty sure it wasn't. But I got it out. I didn't like it. He didn't like it. it. Came out. All right. That one's out. You can see these are these are pretty burnt. Burnt. I mean, I could probably make them work, clean them up, make them work. But I've been given permission to go ahead and, and uh, spend the money. There's a lot of junk in there. So, all right, I'm going to bring you over here. Maybe we can go and watch what I have to do to get these out. All right, we'll get this thing in here. Get it up in there. Tighten this down around that. Tune it, get the clamp this C clamp style, whatever, on down. Pull that on up. And then, uh, like getting in here, I'm going to get my magnet on it. I can see where it split right there. I'll go ahead and get my magnet on either side of that. Pull one off at a time. Both of them are going to come out. All right, we got them out. And release that. Seems like I have to spin this out. Get it all the way out. All right. Now that I got that out, I'm taking it. Go ahead and let it use my crank and then pop that valve up. And I can pull the valve out. Get the valve out and let it go back down, and then I get the spring out. And uh, now, spring gets replaced and all, but this part. You gotta pull it off and uh, you have to reuse that. Which one of them fell down into the oil pan. So, pulling the oil pan off so I can pull this, uh, the uh, pulling the oil pan off so I can pull the uh, cylinders out. Uh, 
So, not a big deal. Uh, that just pulled right out. And uh, we'll uh, go set this in order on the table. All right, we'll, we'll keep moving along. If I have any trouble, I'll let y'all know. Okay, I believe this thing's had a valve job before, and the uh, sign is I have all the keepers that I was supposed to have, but this, there's a keeper there. Why is there a keeper there? How did it get up there? How did that happen? So, anyway... We'll get that uh, pulled out of there, and uh, we'll get the these uh, guides out, and uh, we'll keep moving forward. All right, here we go. Okay, well, we're not going to pull the guides out right now, because I don't have... Uh, I thought I had a 5 uh but long bolt and nut and washer to get down in there and pop those out. I don't have it, so that would just be a quick run to the hardware store and get that, and uh, uh, we'll do that whenever we're getting, before we reassemble. Uh, I still got to get a home. I still got to get uh, my parts in, and uh, when we're going back together, we'll we'll pull those out. So we're gonna move on to getting these um, uh, cylinders out, um, uh, and we'll uh, we got to pull this uh, oil pan off, which I had. To fall off in there because my original idea was I was going to bring some tin foil out here with me and stick down underneath here so if anything fell they wouldn't go all the way down but I didn't so stuff went right on down to the uh, oil pan I didn't worry too much about it because I knew it was pulling that too so if you were just doing the valves without doing the the cylinders, uh, uh, putting new rings in there. Uh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily need to pull the pan. So I wouldn't. I would definitely put something down in there so nothing would fall all the way down. But we're gonna clean this thing all up. We're going So we want that off. We don't want no debris that we're gonna be cleaning off of this down in there. We want this thing clean. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get it and uh, keep moving forward. I am feeling good on this one. All right, here we go. We're moving forward. All right, take this little inspection plate off here. In front of this inspection plate is uh, the bolts, some of the bolts for the uh, oil pan. So 
Oh, there's four of these bolts here. Get them off. I'm really surprised how oily they are. I wouldn't have thought this would be somewhere that had active oil. off. Now we get to get underneath there and pull the bolts for the oil pan off. All right y'all hold on. I don't know how well y'all gonna be able to see but there's three bolts up inside here. I had to get a wobble socket or extension with a socket up in there. And I'm using a quarter so that it, it's, I mean, it's a half inch socket with a quarter drive. That's what I had to use to get up inside there. Barely get in there. Alright, we're getting it done. Best of them, I'll be able to zip off with a wrench and wrench. These three, nope. You gotta have a wobble up in there. I don't know how to get it without one. I guess if you had the motor split apart, the tractor split, you'd get in there. Luckily these things weren't tight or anything. Alright, we'll get the rest of them. Zipped off, drop this pan. You grab the washers as they come off. just fall off.
Alright, hold on. There we go. Oh. Ooh, wait. There were some slides in there. All the stuff that I dropped in here. Definitely open this thing. There's some sludge. Keep where I dropped. That's some nasty sludge. We'll get this sort of cleaned up though. Definitely doing this thing some good. All right. All right, well, with the sucker cleaned up, we have a new guest coming. It's a good thing. Get it cleaned up and uh, get it uh, ready for, oh, well, next we'll start pulling the uh, rod ends off and uh, get those uh, get all that knocked out of here alright here we go alright I'm too busy looking to talk alright here we go alright I thought I was recording but I guess not uh, these uh, hold that gasket on while they're putting it in there. They use some strings, tied it on. Uh, so that's kind of funny. Uh, what they did, sure, that had nothing to do with the seal. Well, uh, man, look at those cut off there, get all that. Yes, get the material off. We get all this cleaned up. No, no grooving in there or anything. Looks pretty clean. Same thing on this side. Nice and clean. Uh, our pulling rings are stuck down. Yeah, that. Could have something to do with it. Alright. Well, uh, keep pulling them out. Alright. I'll uh, come back to y'all when I got them all pulled out. All right, here we go. Alright, I just went through an explanation of everything and with no camera on. Um, anyway, so everything looked good. I'll, uh, I'll clean these up, uh, replace the rings, the, these bearings look good, the uh, uh, shaft looks good, uh, these all look good, these, 
this oil and ring is, is completely seized in there. It's not floating at all. So I don't know. They are, I don't think they're supposed to quite as much as these out here, but they are completely flush. So I don't think they're doing anything. So it's good. We're putting all new rings in here. We're going to put new valves in here. And uh, we're going to have a nice fresh motor. All right, hold on. Everything inside this motor looks pretty good. So for this one spot over here, we're going to JB weld that up. As, that's how it was. Um, and it was working. So these, uh, these motors are... Do not use a water pump. They do not build pressure. They just flow based on hot water. Hot water rises. Hot water or cold water cools. Comes back down through the bottom. So that being said, they don't build uh, a great deal of pressure. So I think JB will be just fine on that. Great heck of a shadow. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so the video is getting a little long here. I decided to cut it off right here. This is where we finished for uh, the weekend. We'll, uh, the next weekend we'll uh, get into uh, placing the valves, putting new ones in. Uh, but we'll save that for another video. Anyway. I hope y'all like this and uh, keep coming back for the series and uh, see how it all comes out. We are, uh, we are going in the right direction. Uh, please hit that like button, hit that share button, and, uh, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week. All right, thank you.